holy crap. So I got in touch with Dan over at Stainless Bottle Stoppers and he sent me over this bottle opener kit. This kit comes with five bottle openers, three of your standard ones where you just crack it open and I've got two of these ones here where you can open it and create no dents on the cap, that way you can save it for another project. I've also got some threaded inserts and I've also got a mandrel that fits my lathe. But before we get into using these parts, the first thing we need to do is make ourselves a blank. Last time I was demoing at Heron Forbes, they were running a CNC machine and they had all this swarf on the ground. Swarf is basically a technical name for the chips and shavings that come off while you're milling something. You can see all the different colours here, that's where the metal's been heated up and it's changed colour. So I think my plan is to take my mould, fill it with resin and try and cram as much of this in as I can. I've already made my mould for this one, I just went ahead and used some core flute and I glued these ends on with the hot glue gun. The resin I'll be using for this project is called Artcast by Just Resin. If you want to try it for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description. So we get some contrast with the metal, I'm going to add in some pearl pigments. So I've put in like a teal colour, a purple and a blue. I reckon they should look alright. I reckon this purple one's going to look bloody awesome. Look at that, how nice does that look? So I think my plan is going to be to pour these colours in around each other, like from different directions, and then we'll jam the shavings in. Now for a bit of purple over the top of that. I grabbed a handful of shavings, I guess we're just going to try and shove them in there. What do you think of that? Do you reckon that looks pretty cool? Now let's top it up with some more resin. Looks like I'm a bit short on my resin so I'm just going to quickly make up another batch. Before I pour in some more resin I just want to see if I can jam in some more shavings. You know what this reminds me of? Do you remember the time Peter Brown made that bowl blank for Carl Jacobson and he put all the metal shavings in it? I think he called it the murder bowl. If you haven't seen it you should check it out, I'll leave a link in the description. Well that's about as full as it's going to get so I guess the next thing we need to do is pop this in the pressure pot. Alright, it's time to take it out and see what we got. Holy crap. Um, I guess that's a failure. Oh my god. Look at that. Now this is why I use a silicon tray in the base of this. Just in case you ever have a failure like this. Oh, it's all stuck together. <laughs> it's like a piece of art. Oh no. I'm assuming the heat that was generated from the curing process heated up all this metal which would have made it even hotter and then just melted the glue. I've never had that problem before. I've always glued my sides on. Damn it. Oh well, looks like it's back to the drawing board. Well, it's now the next day and I made myself a brand new blank. Check this one out. I ended up using a piece of PVC pipe as the mould. Now I don't think we're in the clear with this one either, because when I was making it, I was jamming the filings in and then the resin over the top, and when I was bashing it out of the mould, it looks like I've got a crack down here and I have a feeling that there's an air pocket now this was the bottom of the mould, so hopefully it's just in this section, and up here is all solid. I'm just going to grab a screwdriver and just see if it is hollow. Yep, 
You know, I just don't feel comfortable putting this on the lathe, especially in this condition. I don't want these chips flying off and hitting me. So I think I might sacrifice the last inch of this blank. I think we're still going to have enough here to make a good handle, but I definitely don't need any of these dramas. Apart from that though, I think it's a pretty cool looking blank. After cutting the end off, it looks like the chipping was just on the outside here, so we probably could have gotten away with it, but I think it was better to be safe than sorry. So the next thing we need to do is mount this on the lathe, drill a hole and then put it on the mandrel. So there's a couple of ways that we can mount this up to the mandrel. One way is to drill a hole and then tap some threads in the end. Another option would be to drill a hole and then glue in this brass insert, and that's the way I'm going to do it. Now I'm just going to take some 5 minute epoxy and glue in the insert. Now I'll just leave that to dry before we mount it on the lathe. Mounting the blank to the lathe is super easy. All you got to do is put on the mandrel that suits the size of your thread. I pretty much have no idea what shape I'm going to go for. I'm pretty much just going to start and see what happens. I'm also going to use a carbide tip for this one. I don't normally use these, but I thought I'd give it a go. I'm just unsure as to what this metal's going to do in here since I've never turned a blank like this before, but we'll just see what happens. So the first thing I noticed, I think if I keep using my carbide tip, I'm just going to end up damaging it. Because every time I hit these pieces of metal, it seems to want to stop cutting. So I think I might swap to my gouge, that way I can just keep sharpening it. I thought I might get away without using the tail stock, but I don't think I will. Well, I don't think I'll be making another blank like that in a hurry. Turning metal and resin was way more difficult than I thought. You had to use a lot of pressure to try and cut through the metal, but I didn't want to use too much pressure because then I'll just start chipping out the resin. And the chisel really took a beating too. Had to keep sharpening it all the time because it just kept getting blunt. I think overall I'm happy with the shape. I would like to have gone a bit deeper in places, but it was just too difficult. I think I crammed too much metal in there. Now next I'd normally grab my scraper and try and get these ridges out. But with the metal in there, it's just not going to be so effective. So I think what I'll do is I'll take it to my other lathe and start sanding. And I'll just have to start with a bit of a coarser grit, like 120 or 180, and then move up from there. One of my most asked questions is why do I swap lathes to sand? And that's because I do a lot of wet sanding, and I spend a crap load of money on my big lathe, and I just kind of don't want any water near it. And I did keep my old one as a backup, so I figured why not do it on here? That way I won't stress too much. So 
So I've just finished sanding. I went up to 1200. It did take me a fair while to get these ridges out. So the next thing I need to do is take it off and buff it on the wheel. I know I do a lot of reveals on my channel, but this one has to be up there with one of the best. Have a look at this. How awesome does that look? Check out all the pieces of metal in there. This thing looks amazing. See all the little tiny pieces on the bottom here? How cool does that look? Considering how much of a pain this was to turn, it was so worth it. Now for the last piece of the puzzle, I need to choose, do I want to go for the no dent? or the traditional. I think I'm going to go for the traditional. Now it's as simple as just screwing it in. This thing just feels unreal. It's got such a good weight to it. And there it is, the steel and resin bottle opener. What did you guys think of this one? I knew when I was making the blank that the steel was going to be hard to turn but I figured because it was thin enough, it might be okay. I kind of underestimated that a little bit. It was definitely harder than I thought, but the end result was definitely worth it. But I think if I was to make a blank like this again, I'd definitely just stick to aluminium. And once again, a big thanks to Dan over at Stainless Bottle Stoppers. If you want to try and make one for yourself, I'll leave a link to their website in the description. Well, that's all for this week's video. I hope you liked this one. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing. I put out new videos every week. Now all we have left to do is test it out.